Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how the Celestial Clock Calendar works and how the Enoch Calendar works by clicking on this video here that we produced about seven days ago. It's called the Fall Autumn 2023 Sacred Enoch Calendar. This right here, this three minute video is actually a clock that you could download to your device and do exactly what I'm about to do right here. All right. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to silence it. I think I think I can make the volume not play. I don't know if y'all can hit a ticking or not. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the speed to two. Then I'm going to change the quality to the highest quality. So I got to go to advance and do the highest 720. Because what that allows me to do is zoom in on stuff. I can zoom in on this. Now, like I said, this can be downloaded from your computer. You just have to go to the description or to the pinned comment, and you can download this this device to your computer, to your um, device. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Now, this actually down will download this that whole video. It's downloading the video. So it's going to be an MP4 file on your computer, just like a movie file. So it comes in here to this um, to this Google Drive and you have to and you can play it here, too. So this is what you're downloading. This is what we're downloading. It's just a clock, so. We come up here and we hit this download button over here. And for me, it's probably going to ask me if I want to download it again. So we hit download. And you see it downloading up in the corner. And like I said, this is putting this on your phone. It's not on YouTube anymore. This is on my phone. Now, the, the purpose of this now is that I, I have controls. Um, well, the same controls as YouTube. I don't really have to download it to my phone, but um, it's attached to the phone. Now, let's go back to YouTube because YouTube is actually better. This All this does uh, untethers me from YouTube. All right, let's go back to YouTube. Now, like I said, YouTube is better because you can zoom in on stuff. Like, um, let's say we was interested in this day. Let's stop it on a day, December the 21st. We could come in here on YouTube and we could zoom in to December the 21st. And see um, that that should be the eighth day of Kislev. Or, um, but we have to remember that we have to wait on the new moon. There should be a new moon sighted. On 12 12, December the 12th, 2023, at sometime around 5 32 here at the Hillbilly Homestead. And so, if that's true, if we get that new moon sighting, then um, the uh, first day of the month will be December the 14th. And that's the way this calendar works, but that's the way this clock works or this video works too. Now, let's look at the, the celestial calendar and let's see how it works. Let's take it back to day one of the quarter. You have to remember the sacred calendar works in quarters, not really months or years, but it works in quarters. And the first day of the quarter should be around October the 16th. That's when we should have the new moon. Let's see. Let's go back to the table. With this table here, um, the difference in this one, this what you're looking at here, this... Um, table has been verified by several Levites. 
the new moon uh, should be sighted around October the 14th at 1255. And you have to watch that. Be real careful. Is at 1255 p.m. or 1255 a.m. This could be a military time. So we have to check that. It could throw us off. Um, but this has been looked over by a few Levites and we welcome all Levites to uh, verify this, um, um, especially when we have the new moon. But anyway, so the first day of the quarter, we believe it's going to be October the 16th. Let me slow it down. I got it going too fast. And like I said, it's, you can slow this down. Let's slow it way down. Oops. Let's see what it sounds like now. Just for just for grins and giggles. Each one of those seconds represents a half a day. Not it's not perfect yet. This is really a prototype, a beta test to see how it works. But each one of those seconds is supposed to represent about 12 hours. And this is, you know, why a lot of people have trouble with the clock. That hand right there that you see ticking off at about, you know, one revolution per second. Or one revolution per uh, tick. Takes 12 hours. It takes that hand 12 hours. And so when a lot of people receive the clock, the first thing they think is that it's not moving. And I tell them, you know, to come back in 15 minutes and verify that it has changed. So anyway, we back back up to the first day. Let's push pause. If the new moon is sighted on October the 15th, then our clocks should look like this on October the 16th. Now what this is telling us, what this calendar is displaying and I'm, I'm trying to make myself say calendar because it's not a clock it's a it's a calendar this video is brought to you by the celestial clock calendar get your celestial clock calendar at coachingafight.shop or follow the links in the description below but what this calendar is telling us is that it's about two o'clock and we're on the first day of the seventh month it's two o'clock on this, this clock is showing us two o'clock. That's this hand here. Almost two o'clock. That's the hour hand there. And then we have the day hand here or the lunar hand here. We see here we're on day one. And we see the time of the season that we're in or the time of the year that we're that we're in. Right there when it's time to blow the trumpets. So let's go ahead and run it, but we're gonna speed it up. And we'll watch as this ticks through the quarter. So right here, we'll see we're approaching the middle of the month, about the 15th day of the month, which will be somewhere around um, the beginning of November, the end of, these, uh, of October. That's going to be the uh, when the feast days um, the Feast of Tabernacles will start. And then we see we head around to the eighth month, around November the 15th. Now, that's going to be when um, they start to some of the pagan celebrations, some of the replacements for Tabernacle season. So um, we don't want to get involved in those. Um, those will be around the middle of that eighth month, like they do always. Then we start to approach the ninth month. Now, at the beginning of the ninth month, you see there's not a lot going on there. You know, there's, you see there's open space there, beginning of the ninth month. Because Hanukkah doesn't start until uh, around the end of the month, around the 25th day of the month. So you're looking at your moon hand there. It was down about the five, or it's coming around the six, was indicating uh, around a full moon. Um, and you can look at the uh, moon chart below to see about where the moon phase is at. But you see, you, when you get toward the end of the month, you start getting into days like Hanukkah. You see that? And it's the day of remembrance. And let me show you the other very important thing you want to do to avoid the ads is to loop it, to go into the settings and turn the loop button on. 
And what that'll do is when you get to the end of the video, it'll just restart instead of showing you an ad. And then you start to get around towards the end of the month. Now, let me go ahead and slow this down here as we get close to the end of the month. Matter of fact, let me slow it down a little bit more. Because, like I said, this is a calendar. It's not a clock. And just like the wall calendar, you actually have to change the page or get a new calendar. And I wonder how many people, I'm gonna be a little bit facetious here, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I wonder how many people, or how long did it take for people to be convinced that they had to change the page on their calendar? How many people called in to the calendar maker and said that their calendar doesn't work because they forgot to change the page? You know, the neighbors are saying that it's Tuesday when their calendar is saying that it's Thursday because they don't have the correct year or something like that. Well, it's the same way with this calendar, guys. We have to correct it. We have to update it. We have to add that day that Enoch was talking about at the end here. And that's why this clock abruptly stops here. This is the end of the quarter. So when you look down at the date, January the 11th, on or about January the 11th, this is the way your clock is supposed to look. And then after January the 11th, on or about January the 12th or January the 13th, we will have to move our hands of our clock ahead a day and a half. And then it is at that point that we will move our clocks ahead to begin the next quarter and we'll line up with the first day of the 10th month, which will begin winter time, which is, you know, what we would be on a day of remembrance. And so that'll be uh, sometime around. Let's look down here. When you Levites can start to verify this is correct. But what we appear to have is a new moon on January the 11th at about 0600 here at the Hillbilly Homestead, which means that the sighting will more likely be the 12th, January the 12th, which would make January the 13th the first day of the month, the day of remembrance. And it is that day that we'll set our clocks ahead to the 10 o'clock position. It'll say 10 o'clock. This video is brought to you by the Celestial Clock Calendar. Get your Celestial Clock Calendar at coachinafight.shop or follow the links in the description below. And even if we don't have a paper calendar or even this mechanical calendar, um, we still have this video that we can move throughout the season. And like I said, this is a beta test. So if you see any errors or flaws with it, please let us know. And we'd like again welcome all of the Levi's that want to participate and help keeping this updated as well as this file here, send me an email to endofight at yahoo.com. I can uh, send you a link to this file here. It's in Excel. Again, that's endofight at yahoo.com. All right, guys, I'm starting to ramble on, so I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. If you got anything out of it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. But leave us a comment either way. Assalamualaikum.